Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and today I want to talk about envelope journals. So, especially if you're a beginner and you're a little bit uh, daunted by signatures and constructing a book, uh, this really is a great option for a begin for a beginner. Uh, book or if you're just looking to try something new. So I have a little trick for making these envelope journals to make sure that your spine is straight and all even at the end. So basically the uh, trick to making these, because sometimes it can get confusing on the direction of, you know, you basically glue the flap to the previous page. People get confused, but here's a really quick and easy way to do it. You basically want to get your spine, uh, which is this side, and all your envelopes uh, all even up. And then you take, so you're, you're piercing the uh, spine side with your fingers, and then you take a clamp or, I don't know, clothespin or binder clips or something like that and clip it together and then everything sort of stays in place. So I've already glued a couple pages so far and then you just open it up to the next page that's available and you take your glue and you go all the way around and it's a good idea to get it right to that edge and then I just fill it in a little bit for some extra strength and then close it together back. You can use a bone folder and then you just move on to the next envelope and you keep doing that until the whole thing is glued together. So we'll do one more. Like that. And this way with the clip, you don't have uneven spine when you're finished, which is usually what happened to me. <laughs> Let's just say you're all done. I'm not all done gluing these together, but if you're done gluing these together, you can take off your clip and then take the front page and fold it around to the back and glue it like that. And then you have a solid spine and you don't have the lines. I personally don't mind all the lines on the back, but this is a great way to do it. You can also just totally cover the spine at this point as well and decorate it to your liking. So this is a great uh, project for beginners because it's absolutely simple. So when I got about halfway through, I started having a little trouble bending this up because the, the glued pages that were already on there didn't really want to go in this direction. So I ended up uh, flipping it over and then just pulling out my flap so I could apply the glue like this. And then when I had the glue applied, then I could just pop it back in there and then apply pressure. So this way you're not having to bend up the stuff that you've already glued every single time and possibly causing the book to wrinkle or something like that. So another good tip is when when you're gluing the edge, be sure not to over glue and so you glue the pages together. So mine, I did that, a, I had a little bit of glue and they came easily apart and those are pages I was gonna cover anyway, but hopefully that will help you avoid that from happening because you don't wanna get to the end and all your pages are, are stuck together. If you're interested in seeing more videos, you can go ahead and click subscribe. In the description, I have a link to my Etsy shop. I have both physical and digital items. You can also join our Facebook group. It's called Junk Journal Tutorials and Books. Check us out and see all the fun ideas we are sharing over there. Well, as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.